Hello there, this is Sandy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me today for another video tutorial. Today we're using the Country Bouquet Bundle. I know I had said on my last video that this, um, the punch is not available until April. Um, and I did use it on this card, but you don't have to. Hearts are one of the easiest things you can cut out. So, um, you know, feel free to make this card, but, but just cut out your hearts or, you know, use them as a template. I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna make a baby card today. So I'm also using the Celebrating You stamp set because this has lots of different um, sentiments for different occasions and I'm using the, little, the Welcome Little One to make this in. This is also a fun fold, so I'm excited to show you this one. I'm using a half sheet of thick basic white and I've scored it at two and an eighth from either side. And we are going to just crease these so that they meet in the middle. So this is called a slide and lock card. All right, and I have two pieces of the designer paper. I'm gonna make a, a, a baby card for a little boy. Now you can use uh, this side, you could do for a little girl if you want. But I am doing blue for boys. I always want to do pink for girls, so today I'm going to do a boy card. And the measurements for these pieces will be on my blog. I'm just going to adhere these to the front panels of my card. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we are going to do our stamping now. So I'm going to grab my balmy blue ink pad and my crumb cake ink pad. And we are going to stamp the welcome little one. Whoops, no, nope. I want to do that in blue. No, I'm gonna just do it in crumb cake. I went, I already, I already inked it up in crumb cake, so let's just use that. That's why I don't like to usually have more than one ink pad open at a time because you know that kind of stuff happens. Okay, so I just did welcome little one, and then we are going to stamp. I have just a scrap piece of white. And I have uh, this outline stamp. I'm going to do this in blue. All right. And then I have the words for you. That is in the Country Bouquet stamp set as well. So I'm just going to do for you in the middle of the heart. And then we have this striped heart with the little heart on the bottom. I don't need that little heart. But for the striped heart, I'm going to stamp in crumb cake. Okay, and that's it for stamping. Just some quick stamps. All right. Now, we're going, we're gonna just cut this out. Since our punch is not currently available, I'm not gonna entice you with that punch. I'm just gonna cut out the hearts. Hearts are one of the easiest things you can freehand. This is nice because I've got an outline, I can just go behind. But these are not perfectly symmetrical hearts. So if you need to cut out um, some hearts to go with this project, it's real easy because they don't have to be perfect. All right, we're just gonna cut this out. And if you wanna cut out some more, you could just use this heart as a template trace around it or just cut around it on your designer paper. Cut out the hearts that you need. Okay. Not the best cutting out, but that's good. That will work. Okay. So I also have a piece of this um, <laughs> stitch so no, not stitch so sweetly, is it? No, scallop contour dies. <laughs> I can't remember. Scallop contour dies. Then I have two two by two pieces of balmy blue and two two by two pieces of basic white. Then I have just a couple more hearts that I had punched 
or you can cut out of the designer paper. And I did a little one just out of crumb cake. All right, so let's make our slide and lock mechanism. So we're going to take um, a piece of the, oh, I'm looking for my, well, I've got adhesive here. This is uh, Seal Plus. So I'm going to go on all four sides here. We'll just cover that. And on your paper, you can see that one way will fold easier than the other. So the easy one, we're gonna fold in half. Just kind of squish it in your fingers and you'll be able to tell which one is, is going to fold easier. So that's the way you wanna go. All right, so I'm folding these two white ones in half. Then I am going to put these on with the open side facing out right here on my blue. And then, so we have the crease in the middle. And then same way with this one, the opening is facing out and the crease in the middle. So we could just butt those two creases up together. Okay, just like that. So now it's like a little book. Just kind of opens up. I've got adhesive stuck in there. Okay, so flatten them back out with your, with your creases there, and then we're going to add another blue one right on top. So you can put your adhesive on the white. I'm just gonna do it on the blue because it's a little easier. Okay, so now you can see we have our blue, we have our our openings, we're not gonna open it. We're gonna keep this stiff. This is the important part. And then you need to glue it to the right to the back of our um, scallop rectangle, but make sure that those two pieces are facing outwards, okay? So let's just do this. Put it right in the center, just like that. Okay, so that's our mechanism. Now we're gonna decorate the front of this. And I'm going to just pop up some of these hearts. Okay. This is, this is always so cute for a baby card. Hearts are always always good for babies, for anniversaries, for weddings, just for, you know, thinking of you or I love you or, or whatever. So, you know, stamp sets with hearts do not have to be just for Valentine's Day. All right, I'm leaving a little bit of room kind of near the bottom because I've got a bow I want to put on here. Now you see this one is, is the tail is going the other way. When I punched it out, I punched it out on the flower side and then flipped it over. So my tail's, you know, kind of facing the other way. So it's kind of nice to mix that up a little bit. All right. And I'm gonna put this one maybe right here. Okay. Now I have, tied a, a little bow using the crumb cake ribbon from the suite. This is currently um, out of stock, but it's coming back in stock uh, in just a couple of weeks or a little, a little later this month. So you will be able to get it, um, just not today. But you could, use, if you have balmy blue ribbon, and we have a couple of balmy blue ribbons, you could use that. Um, you could use some of the fun linen, linen thread and do like a tuple, double or triple bow, whatever you want to do. Let's go ahead and add a couple of embellishments. These are the pastel sequins that also coordinate with our suite. So I'm going to just use a small down here and oh, where are the large ones? I have a whole bunch of these. Large up here, I love sequins. I love sequins, you know why? Because they're fairly flat. They're not as, you know, pokey as gems, so they don't, you know, they're a little easier to mail as well. 
Plus when they have the adhesive already on them, I mean, come on, how easy can you get? Okay, now to put the mechanism on the cards, you see we have these uh, open right here. You're gonna do one side and put your front panel right inside there. And then over on the other side, you're going to put that panel inside the other one. Now it will cause, when you slide this down, a little bit of bowing. So you can see that right there. What you wanna do, because it's not gonna be completely met in the middle, you want to flatten this out, hold it down, and then take your bone folder and just kind of press that out on both sides. And that's just gonna make those side creases a little bit bigger. And then that will help with the bowing. And if you want, you can flip it over, hold it down and do a little bit more. Okay, it may do a little bit, but I mean, that's pretty flat right there. Isn't that cute? And then to hold it, you just pull it off, just like that. So cute and simple. Just remember, two, two by twos of the two colors. Or you can make them colored. I would use white for the inside because it is a thinner cardstock than our regular colored cardstock. So, um, Definitely use that. I mean, you might even be able to use designer paper because you're really just looking for that inside, you know, the little inside um, panels to hold it together. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I will post the supplies and measurements on my blog and um, make sure to check back on Monday. I've got another cute card using this week. Uh, we're, I think we'll do a wedding card on Monday. So make sure to check back because it is very beautiful and elegant. You will love that. All right. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.